Hi everybody, Tony Staunton here and welcome back to The Productive Entrepreneur, helping to get you organized, get productive and make more profit. Now, I am often asked for the best piece of time management that I can offer and the answer is a fairly simple and obvious one, capturing your commitments. And that's the title of this lecture, how to capture commitments. And I suppose in a way it's inspired by getting things done by David Allen. And we're kicking off this lecture with a quote from him which is, have a place either digitally or manually to hold all relevant collateral materials and thinking. At some point you'll either get used to lots of commitments or make fewer, probably both. And he's right, as you move through life, your commitments will either increase, decrease, but in most cases you're gonna reach a balance. But having a place to capture all your commitments is key. So now, just on a side note for this lecture, you can see that the format has changed slightly and that I've added an image to the background. So, I'm very interested to hear your feedback on the layout of the course so far. Do you like the animation? Do you like the slides? Do you like the flow? So any tips or feedback you might have on the course layout, look and feel, I'd be more than happy to hear and you can leave me a note in the discussion section. So with that said, let's move through some ways to help you capture your commitments. And the first is, in tray. Always have an in tray on your desk. I have a little cardboard folder from Ikea that I put all my documents into for the relevant day. Receipts, invoices, pieces of paper that I've written notes on, whatever it might be. When something new arrives or when you return from somewhere else, take every piece of paper you have acquired and put it in here. This may include notes, business cards, receipts, letters, documents, whatever. You can then proce process everything to determine the appropriate action to take. Number two is a notebook. So if possible, always carry a pen and notebook with you. Any commitments which you make can immediately be captured in your notebook. When you return to your work area, you can tear out the pages containing the commitments and place them in your in-tray for processing. Number three is to ask the other person to email it to you. There will be times when you're away from your desk and you have no means to take notes. You bump into somebody else and they're asking you for something. You agree to do it, but you have no way to capture it. So what do you do? Easy. You ask them to email you with the request. If it is really important to them, they'll email you, which will take the pressure off of you. Tip number four, email it to yourself. Thanks to smartphones, iPads, thanks to smartphones and iPads, you probably have access to email at any moment. If you're away from your desk and somebody asks you to do something for them, you can always email it to your own account and you'll be able to process it when you get back. Number five is voicemail. And this is one that I find very useful. In the same manner as your email, you can use your voicemail to capture your commitments or your ideas. Simply dial into your own voicemail and leave the details. Of course, you have to be certain that you're going to check your voicemail upon your return to work. But if you do, this is a very handy tip. And finally, a portable task list. Your mobile phone, your iPad, whatever it might be, no doubt you have some sort of app or there is an app available to help you capture all your commitments. And if you're like me, you move around quite a bit. So you probably keep your task list somewhere that you can get easy access to. I keep mine in an app called OmniFocus. You might use something else, Google. Google Docs, Word, whatever it might be. Therefore, you will probably have your task list with you whenever you're away from the phone. Despite this, you should generally avoid placing a task directly on your task list. You should process a request commitment first to determine whether it's something which you should really be doing before you add it to your task list. And there are my six quick and easy tips to help you capture your commitments. If you have any tips and tricks of your own, please let me know. As always, Thank you for listening and if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me.